course, when I start to make a video, my neighbor decides to start mowing the yard. Fucking great. Anyways, um, got my carbs apart right now. I've re-jetted them, the Dino Jet Kit, uh, stage three, but I cannot get them to stop flooding. Like, three of them keep flooding gas um, in the carburetor float bowls. So I've got them apart. I've adjusted the float height so many times, and I'm starting to realize, okay, maybe it's like the float needle valve that's causing it to uh, flood gas. Um, so I've got it apart. I've been soaking um, the needles in some carburetor cleaner, and um, I'm about to inspect the float needle valve o-rings because that's I just read that on this uh, Facebook group I belong to and they suggested that that could be the problem because if the o-rings are not if they're flat or hard then it will allow gas to leak through so I'm about to check those out and uh, I actually got a like o-ring gasket little toolbox uh, I forgot where I got it from a tool place whatever anyways yeah let's check this out these are a set of Makuni carburetors off a 1982 Suzuki GS650 um, as you can see I have so many parts just laying around here like front brake master cylinders rear brakes um, all kinds of stuff over here but if you don't know okay these are the floats for the carburetors this is the idle screw um, and over here we've got the actual float bowls that I've taken off I even like ordered new gaskets and everything I couldn't tell why it was flooding and leaking but um, so here are the needle valves and I think I put a new gasket on one of them already but I don't remember but as you can see these are flat and worn down let me see if I can I have shaky hands sometimes but um anyways so I'm gonna take this and well first there's a test to blow into the gas the actual gas thing here with all the needle valves in place and that way you'll be able to tell if uh, air is leaking through or that's the reason gas is leaking flu so I'm gonna try to do that first Screw all these back into place. Oh, son of a bitch. This is the kind of shit right here that really pisses me off. <laughs> Fuck. See, now I gotta figure out how to get this little screw out. Just whatever, man. You know, can't let these things just phase you. You just gotta. It's just name of the game, dude. So, and that's why I've got these fucking awesome pliers. Excuse me if I cuss too much, it's just in my nature. Found you. Okay, let's see if we can screw them all down. Alright, so I was told to take these, hold them upside down, and to blow into the gas. And if you have resistance, then that's good. But if it blows through, then that's when you have a problem. So. Okay, so after this, I realized that none of the floats are actually assembled so I had to assemble the floats and then do the blow test and then I realized that all four um, carbs were leaking air. I did a wet test which is where you spray some lubricant on the needle valve and blow into it and see if it can hold pressure and you can see bubbles rise and that's how you can tell um, if it's leaking. So I went ahead and replace the o-ring gaskets in the needle valves and then after that I got it on the bike and um, I actually got it to start up and everything and I'll show you that in just a second but um, I'll leave you with that pretty much because um, I'm at a certain point where I think I probably have to replace the needles uh, certainly replace some of the needles um, just some more carburetor work just to get the bike running good I actually pretty proud of myself because I rebuilt the rear brakes and I've got them working got new brake pads on there and everything so that's good to go so pretty much whenever I get 
the carburetors, you know, at a steady, you know, reliable way, then I can ride it. And that's what I'm waiting to do next is to ride it down the street and back. Um, pretty much just have the seat left to get, weld the frame, uh, the rear light, gotta get that on there, and the front brakes. But I'm getting closer and closer, so yeah. But uh, anyways, here's a clip of it running. Sounds really good. I uh, just wish I could get it to stay that way. So, but all right, I'll see you next time.